With over a year and a half of development and beta testing with top recording engineers, the newly designed M60 FET Field Effect Transistor Small Diaphragm Microphone is Telefunken Electroacoustics' first non-vacuum tube FET-based solid-state condenser microphone. The first thing I did, I took them out. Um, I wanted to identify the capsule cases because they are numbered. So what I wanted to do was see how easy the uh, capsules threaded on and off the microphone uh, modules, and uh, which turned out to be very easy. One of my first tests on any mic is to find out the proximity effect. Once I finished the polar pattern test, um, I packed it back up so I could then go inside and uh, test it out on actual equipment. So the M60s, Telefunken M60s, were announced at AES, and I was very intrigued. They sent me out the master set. I do have the DD5 drum package around my entire drum kit. And now that I have, you know, the M60s as overheads and hi-hat mic, it's kind of like, oh, the, the whole family's here. The M60 FET series is designed to utilize the same interchangeable TK6X capsules as the tech award-winning ELA M260. The M60 FET Master Stereo Set comes with two identical M60 FET amplifiers, paired with matched sets of TK60 Cardioid, TK61 Omnidirectional, and TK62 Hypercardioid capsules. I knew it was going to be great on acoustic guitar, having heard it on the drum overheads and the hi-hat and seeing how smooth the uh, top end was, I knew it would be, would be great. I also wanted to try another capsule on the second M60 and I use that in Omni. The M60s fall right into the same thing that makes me love all other Telefunken mics. There is just this indescribable feeling that when I get behind the board, it feels the way it felt when I was in the room. Basically, I use small uh, diaphragm microphones for things like uh, a lot of high-end stuff. However, I did find out on these mics that they have an incredible amount of low-end pickup. I thought it was really wacky when, when Telefunken asked to try it out on an upright bass. <laughs> It didn't make any sense to me. If it was anything, it was just a great indication of like how much low end these things can really pick up. I would have never chosen a pencil mic to actually record an upright bass. I was actually amazed at the low end that I got out of it. The, the whole packaging, the whole design, once again, Telefunken did uh, an amazing, amazing job.
The output is matched with a custom American-made transformer, making it ideal for critical recording applications. 